the height of an isosceles triangle is 4 cm. Find the length of the base if the other sides are 5 cm long. Let's assume that this is the isosceles triangle. So we have the triangle ABC. The question tells us that the length of the other sides are 5 cm long. We know that in an isosceles triangle, the length of two sides are the same. So here we take the side AC and the side BC as the same length. So if here is 5 cm, here will also be 5 cm. The question says that the height of the isosceles triangle is 4 cm long. What it means is that if we draw a perpendicular line from point C to meet the line AB, the length of this line will be 4 cm. Let's call this point here point C. In an isosceles triangle like the one we have here, when we draw a perpendicular line from point C to meet the line AB, it will divide the line AB into two equal parts. So what it means is that on this diagram, the length of AD will be the same as the length of BD. The base of the triangle is the side AB. And we have seen that the length of AD will be the same as the length of DB. So all that we have to do here is just find one of them. You see that we find AD or DB and multiply the result by 2. We will get the length of the side AB. As we can see here, CDB forms a right angle triangle. In the same way, CDA also forms a right angle triangle. So we can take in one of them. I'm going to take CDB. We form the right angle triangle CDB. We can apply the Pythagoras theorem here to find the length of the side DB. From the Pythagoras theorem, we know that the square of CB will be equal to the square of CD plus the square of DB. So we have CB squared is equal to CD squared plus DB squared. CB is 5 centimeters and CD is 4 centimeters. So 5 squared will be equal to 4 squared plus DB squared. This will give us 5 squared minus 4 squared is equal to DB squared. And so db will be equal to square root of 5 squared minus 4 squared, which will give us 3. So the length of the side db is 3 centimeters. But as we have already seen, the length of the side db will be the same as the length of the side ad. So it means that the length of the side ad is also 3 centimeters. The base is ab. AB is equal to AD, which is 3 centimeters, plus DB, which is also 3 centimeters. 3 centimeters plus 3 centimeters will give us 6 centimeters. So, in this isosceles triangle, the length of the base is 6 centimeters.